Today we're going to talk about order confirmations. Order confirmations are confirmations that you send to your customer letting them know that you have received your purchase order and that you're going to fulfill it. If you go to your inbox, this is where all of your received items from your customer are, are held, very similar to an email account. So inbox is e equal to an inbox in an email account, and you can think of it the same way. So inbox is going to have all your received items, so all orders and releases are going to be directly here. Once you come in here, you're going to locate a purchase order. and click on the number to open it up and once you do you'll see the very first button is an order confirmation before you begin you always want to make sure that your order that you're going to be working off of has everything accurately stated so quantity unit price subtotal everything needs to be accurate before you begin if you see any discrepancy anything that needs a change anything that you weren't expecting etc you'd want to make sure you email the requester to ask for a change or an update or let them know that there was an error there just isn't something accurate on here right so you'd want to locate this email address it will not be this person every time it could be different based on whoever created your order but this is where you would find their email address and you can contact them directly let them know that there needs to be a change and and then they will issue a change order. It'll have the exact same PO number, but it'll be a version two of the document. And then you can work off of that copy. Once you receive that, then you can go ahead and start to invoice. Otherwise, um, if everything here is correct, you could go ahead and submit an order confirmation. So th this is not required uh, for Santa Clara County. However, it is preferred, and I'll show you how easy and fast it is just to let them know that you got their purchase order and that um, you're going to fulfill it. So first button, create order confirmation, confirm entire order. As you see in here, it, this is a free form field and it has a confirmation number. I've seen suppliers use um, different things and you could start a sequential number sequence where it's just one, two, three, whatever. Or you can just use your invoice number. Sometimes that's easier for suppliers because they know their invoice number. Their invoice number is going to be unique every time and it's easy for you to remember that. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter a number here. So this is a test one for me. You would enter probably OC and for order confirmation and then just the invoice number right after that. And that's all you have to do here. And go ahead and click next. Have a preview screen and click submit. And that is how you confirm a purchase order. As you can see, it changed to a confirmed status and I have a related document down here that shows me my order confirmation was submitted.